Hello, my fellow creator. My name is Stancy. Welcome to the channel. Today in the morning, I woke up and thought, what would make me just a little bit happier? Because I've been feeling this deep sadness growing inside myself. And one thing came to mind pretty quickly. That was coming to El Cotillo. El Cotillo is my favorite little town in Fuerteventura. I seriously think there is no better place to hang out. There are a lot of things to do, a lot of places to go to, a lot of nice beaches and the vibes here they're just chill and calm and relaxing and this is exactly what i need right now it's beautiful it's ugly it's everything welcome to a day in el cotillo do you notice the difference already between me now and me in my past vlog from coralejo i was so chaotic and so unhinged because i really don't like coralejo but here i feel very nice and cozy This is why I wanted to have a creative career, so that on a random Tuesday I can just go to the beach and do whatever I want and take a rest if I feel like I need to. Actually, there are many reasons why I want a creative career, not only that. I want to design a lifestyle that works for me. I don't want somebody to tell me what to do and how to do it. The current work structure it just doesn't work for me. It makes me more stressed and more sick, and that's definitely not my goal. I want to work on projects when I'm the most resourceful. What's the point of trying to get the work done during the times of complete sadness and apathy? It's pretty much impossible to create something high quality. I want to work during my prime time of the day and prime time of the month. Current work structures do not accommodate women and people with health issues. I'm a woman and I have a health challenge. I have migraines. This is a big part of my life and you of course don't see it, but I struggle with it quite often. Nobody will want a person who has to take so many days off throughout the month randomly. So working for myself is pretty much the only way. And I know it's the same for many of you too. There is no plan B. Another reason why I want to keep building my creative career is that I want to shape and shift depending on who I want to be in different seasons of my life. One day I'm a YouTuber, another day I'm an entrepreneur, and the next one I'm an artist. I want to experience different realms of existence and I want to accelerate the pace of my life. If I was to work in a corporation, any change would have taken ages. It would have been so difficult to switch the area of expertise because there is the corporate structure and there are people in your way and there is bureaucracy. It would have been so slow. And again, I'm very grateful for the experience I had in a corporation because if I were to start freelancing or started up my own company right away without having experience in the corporate world, in the moments of desperation, I would have probably thought, oh my God, I wish I just worked in a corporation. It would have been so much easier. Now I don't have that thought. Now I'm like, no matter how hard it is, I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna build the life of my dreams myself and there is no way I'm getting another corporate job. So this is kind of why my YouTube channel is going. And if you want to support me, you know what to do. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. My friend invited me to a ceramics workshop today. And I said, yes, I have no idea what we're going to do, how it's going to go, how long it lasts. I have no expectations. And I think it is the best strategy, honestly. I just want to try something new, do something fun, spend time with my friend and uh, yeah, enjoy some new experience.
Something incredible happened during this workshop. While I was immersed in the process of making my thing, I felt so present in the moment. I focused on what I'm making without thinking about it failing or not working out or not being perfect. It doesn't matter. What matters is to enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. It's nice to picture the final result, the destination, but it's even better to leave quite a bit of space for magic to happen. Let yourself surprise you. Let the life surprise you. Let your creativity take you somewhere where you've never been before. Have your final goal as a guide and be ready to say goodbye. While making my thing, I wasn't thinking about the next step or the one after that or what's gonna happen to it later. I was like, now I'm making the base and now I'm building the sides and now I'm making it smooth and now I'm making the rim curvy, which by the way, I think is the best idea ever. And now I'm carving a flower and now I'm splattering the paint and now I'm painting the flower. I'm so happy with how my piece turned out. I really let my creativity take me places on this one. I need to wait for it to be fried in the kiln and then glazed and then fried again. And I didn't even ask when that will be ready. I can wait as long as needed. And in the meantime, I'll focus on making my journey as enjoyable as possible. What can I tell you? Try new things. I felt like a kid. It was amazing to play with the clay and I cannot wait to see how my creations turned out. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on my Instagram. Follow me at stancy.nova. And thank you for spending this day with me. I will see you in my next video. Peace.